You're watching Sportpedia Channel. How was cricket invented? There is a saying. You have to be born into cricket. But how did it all start? Chapter 1. The Origins of the Game The history of cricket's beginnings is shrouded in mystery. In Kent, England, a game, resembling cricket was being played, according to King Edward I's household records from 1300. Before it began to be widely played by adults, at the start of the 17th century, it is generally accepted that cricket was a game played by children for many generations. If bowls is the elder sport, then cricket may have developed from it, as a result of a batter aiming to deflect the ball away from the target. The original equipment for playing on sheep grazed ground or in clearings, may have included a matted lump of sheep's wool, as the ball, a stick, a crook, or another agricultural instrument as the bat, and a stool, a tree stump, or a gate, such as a wicket gate, as the wicket. Chapter 2. The Early Years A 50-guinea wager was made in Sussex, for an 11-a-side game that was first mentioned in 1697. It is likely, that a set of rules regulating the conduct of the game existed about this time but the earliest publication of such regulations is dated 1744. Kent and Surrey played each other in the first documented intercounty match, in 1709, at Dartford. Early in the 18th century, according to some sources, cricket was only popular in the southern counties of England. However, as time went on, it gained popularity and eventually made its way to London, particularly to the artillery ground in Finsbury, where a famous match between Kent and All England, took place in 1744. Chapter 3. The Technical Development of the Game All bowling remained underhanded until the early 19th century, and the majority of bowlers favored the high-toss lob. The round-arm revolution that followed, saw many bowlers start to raise the point at which they delivered the ball. Due to ferocious debate, the Marylebone Cricket Club, changed the legislation in 1835 to permit raising the hand as high as the shoulder. The tempo, or bowling speed, greatly increased as a result of the new style. The laws of cricket were initially defined in 1744, and later revised in 1774, to include innovations like IBW, middle stump, and maximum bat width. According to these statutes, the principals shall select two umpires from among the gentlemen present, who shall finally determine any disagreements. The so-called Star and Garter Club, whose members later established the Marylebone Cricket Club at Lord's in 1787, was responsible for creating the codes. The MCC, immediately assumed custody of the laws, and since then, it has made recurring amendments and recodifications. Chapter 4. The Beginning of International Cricket In 1844, the United States and Canada played in the first ever international cricket match. In 1859, a team of leading English professionals set off to North America on the first ever overseas tour, and, in 1862, the first English team toured Australia. The first test matches were two games played in Australia in 1877, between an England touring team and the Australians' eyes. The Australians made their first trip to England the following year, and the popularity of this tour ensured that there would be demand for more similar endeavors in the future. Chapter 5. The Growth of the Game Cricket quickly began to gain popularity in other parts of the world. England, Australia, and South Africa served as the founding members of the Imperial Cricket Conference, which was established in 1909. The South African Cricket Association, the Australian Board of Control for International Cricket, and the Marylebone Cricket Club, served as the ICC's founding organizations. In 1926, both, New Zealand and the West Indies, were admitted as members, allowing them to play test cricket against the other sides. Pakistan joined in 1952. In the 1970s, the first limited overs World Cups were held, and in 1982, Sri Lanka became the first associate member to be upgraded to test playing status. Chapter 6. The New Age Cricket 
the ICC unveiled a test championship table in June 2001, followed by a one-day international championship table in October 2002. According to International Cricket Conference rankings, several forms of cricket have remained a majorly competitive sport throughout the majority of former British Empire nations, particularly the Indian subcontinent, and new competitors like the Netherlands. In 2017, Ireland and Afghanistan were added, bringing the total number of nations with full ICC membership to 12. Cricket's newest innovation is called 2020, and by far it has enjoyed enormous popularity, and has attracted large attendances at matches, as well as good TV audience ratings. The inaugural ICC 2020 World Cup tournament was held in 2007. Well, that's all for today folks. I hope you've enjoyed the video. We'd love to hear which cricket team you support. Drop us a line in the comment section below. And don't forget, if you like the content, give it a thumbs up. See you soon.